Hello, today, so today we will have the title block in AutoCAD using this figure. This is an A3 title block, so having the student name, the instructor, the subject, the activity name, and the plate. So also, the dimensions are given. Okay, so let us first open the AutoCAD file, so this one. And let us copy this one and let us paste it here so we're not going to use the model we're going to use layout okay so in this corner I'm going to paste the figure so I have a copy of that okay so scale is 1 rotation is 0 so these are the following dimensions for that Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to right click on the layout one. You can actually rename that one. Let's say this is title block one. A3. Okay, like that. And click anywhere. Right click again. Then click page setup manager. Okay, then modify. So here we can choose AutoCAD PDF high quality print. Then for the paper, since we're using an A3, so find A3, that is ISO full bleed A3. While, why full bleed? That is because you're going to minimize the uh, printable area of the given paper. Okay, scale is 1 is to 1. Be sure to have a millimeter on your units since we are the given figure is in millimeter. Then, plot style table, we can use this one, monochrome. So, even though you have applied a color on your layer, still, the PDF copy of that is all black and white. Okay. So, do not change anything here. Then, drawing orientation is also uh, portrait. i sorry. That's landscape. So, you have 1 is to 1. 1 millimeter is 1 unit. Then, that's all. Then, click OK. This is now your paper, so you just close this page setup manager. Then this is your uh, model view. You can delete this one first. Okay, then we're going to replicate this drawing. Okay, so I'm going to move this one here. So I have so I can have a better view. Okay, so for the border, so this one is if you can see that it's 420 by 297. We can create another 420 by 297 so you don't have a object snap here just assume this part is your perimeter okay so that is 420 since it, we are going down we can use negative 297 then press enter and now create a layer for that okay so let's say uh, we use title block for it and for the color we use let's say uh, if you want blue you can use blue to identify that that is your title block and add another layer we set it to depth points so depth points is a special layer that that is unprintable okay for the title block we can choose 0.5 for the line weight okay so that's all then we just add text you can just add text here and we can set it to let's say color green anyway uh, the final output of that is black and white okay, we use 0 0.3 for your line weight okay, so let's close your layer property editor and select this part and change, change it to the points okay now is we're going to have uh, the 15 by 15 inner border so if you just offset this this object by 15 okay. and do not forget to change this layer to T block okay because uh, if you don't change that one it belongs to def points and still that is unprintable okay so now we're going to draw the title block okay that is 25 so we can just explode this first so we can use this part this. so we can offset this one going up that is 25 this offset 
25. Enter. Then click this one and offset it going up. Then now, this is 80, 80, 120. So you can offset this, this vertical line going to the right by 80 first. Okay. Another one is 80. Okay. Then another offset. So first cancel your uh, first offset method and try or redo the offset. This is now 120. And the last one is 84. 84. Okay. Okay. And you can just trim this one. Okay. So now, this is 25. And you have here the title block for student, instructor, and subject. You can just uh, offset this line going down. Since the dimension is not indicated, you can have it. Let's say 5. Okay, so it's very small. You can have it 7.5. Okay. okay. So I think it's enough. Then let's have now the uh, text. That is the multi-line text. We use the multi-line. We just have it here. And you can now type first is student. I'm just going to close first the text editor and just, I'm just going to verify if it is large enough for the given title block. Since it is too small, I can change the text height to let's say 5. Okay, I think 5 is enough so I can close the text editor. Then, so I can move it the center or just here okay and uh, you can change this to this too large you can have it let's say four okay so now you can copy this one have your base point here then replicate it to the different title block don't worry about the text label just going to edit that one Okay, so the next one is instructor. So you can change the instructor here. So we have instructor. So do not forget your the caps lock and instructor. Okay, next is followed by the subject. So the subject is here. Then next is the activity name here. name then the last block is the plate number okay. plate number okay. or we can just move this one going here so since it is quite large we can have this line scaled by 0.9 but if you want to scale only the last part doesn't matter so, okay. so it's more smaller and I can move this one manually okay. Okay, this one also and for the last one the plate number Since it's too large, you can adjust the height. Let's say we have this one as uh, 3.5 only. Or you can make it, let's say, 2.5. Okay. So next, we will have your name that you have here a division for the student number and the email. Okay. You can offset this again by let's say 2.5 okay. it's too small you can use 5 okay and another one okay so uh, we can use 
can offset this one by 7.5. And we can just divide this line. Okay. Okay. Do not forget to change the the layer to T block. Now we can write student number here. Can click this one again and you can now write here student number so it is all caps okay. so let's assume the default is 9999 okay. extend the width going to the right Okay, next one is the email address. Okay, so I just copy this one. Have the base point here, so it will be aligned on the second row. This is email address. Okay, so let's see the email address. Uh, we assume that the owner of this one is Juan de la Cruz. So let's say Juan de la Cruz at gmail.com. So adjust the width going to the right so it will it just occupy one line okay next is this one is with uh, the name of the professor or the instructor and the schedule okay so this one is the schedule so we can remove this one and the schedule here so how about here so we don't have this upper line you can just delete this and even for the plate number, we don't have this one. Okay, for okay. Next is for the instructor, so I can uh, have here a line, and I just copy this one, so I can re-edit. Okay, the instructor. Let's say that is me. Okay, if you have James Francis. Regular. Okay, adjust this one before the width, and you can move it to the center. Okay, and it's labeled as architect, so I can label this one as, as engineer. Okay, here. Okay, remove this one. Can move this to the center okay so next is the subject so it is indicated here that you have draw engineering drawing in plans so we can use here uh, the subject let's say computer aided drafting so this is the subject here so I just copy it and I use and, and edit it to our subject we have computer aided drafting okay. expand this one Okay, and move it to the center okay next is we have the subject schedule and the time okay, so I, I can copy the font style of the email address here and I can edit the text so the text here is indicated that this is the schedule plus schedule okay caps lock first plus schedule Class schedule. Uh, this is Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, two to five p.m. Two to five p.m. Okay. Next is I can copy this one. Ah, sorry. So we have now the time. So this is the time. So we can uh, have this kind of format, or you can just stop it here then make uh, edit make edit to the time okay. we can uh, add additional tab and expand the width here so for the activity name so let's check it 
Okay, so submission date and activity name. Okay, so I just copy this one again and paste it here. Let's have the activity name for that. Let's say this is title block. Okay, title block. So we'll just move it to the center. Or since the title block is already at the center, or the multi text is already at the center, you can use this one center. Okay. That's much better. Then we have submission date. Again, we can copy this text as a reference for your submission date text here. Okay, then we have this one edit, edit this one submission date. So we assume that the submission date is today, is November 23, 2021. Okay, last is for the plate number so I just copy this one again and I say A okay so I can move this one to the center okay and you can edit the text much larger let's say 10 okay so now you have the Title block. Okay, you can now delete this guide. Okay, so you have now a working title block. Again, do not forget to save that one. Okay, okay. let's see. We use a uh, three title block underscore title block. Okay, so that's all. So next is how to scale your drawing and insert it to title block. Okay, thank you.